Okay, so I'm getting ready to uh, do the Owens install uh, with Velox camber plates and uh, white line sway bars for the FRS here. Uh, saying the Velox uh, FT86 Speed Factory top mounts are right there, so hopefully we would get decent camber out of this. So this is pretty much a walkthrough of install uh, of the top mount on the coilover. Uh, first you're gonna do spring. Uh, first let me pull the uh, rubber boot off here. So the rubber boot is gonna go on first. Make sure that's kind of snug on the top. Uh, then you're gonna follow that up with the coil spring. Make sure that seat's on there. And then you have the spring perch, so it sits right on there, the top of the spring, and that should mount up together pretty well. Uh, follow that up with a spacer. And then your camber plate, which goes on top of that. Now, depending on which camber plates and, and brands and everything, depends on what size spacer you're going to be using, so keep that in mind. Um, to make sure you have proper spacing and room and, and threading on the top and then next is the nut that you're going to be screwing onto the top now there is an allen key on the top of the strut uh, i really suggest doing this by hand uh, you're going to need a uh, pass through socket set in order to be able to do this um, but it's a lot better than using a regular impact wrench or something where you just tighten it down until it stops uh, you can end up causing the shaft on the inside to spin uh, which isn't very good for the coilover. So just do it by hand, make sure you don't over tighten it and make sure you're using that Allen key on the top there. And then here is uh, the top of it. Um, looks really good and should perform even better. Okay, so now I've had a chance to get the coilovers installed onto the car, um, running the Velox camera plates Olin's coilovers, uh, but I did want to go over one benefit or a couple benefits actually of running the Velox kit uh, with the the coilover itself. It does rotate very easily and smoothly. Um, this is going to be really important because when you're turning the wheel left or right and steering, uh, the whole uh, knuckle and steering assembly is moving, and so the coilover, because the way it's attached, at least on the FRS. Um, it does rotate the coil over a little bit when you turn left and right. So the v, the Velox camera plates do have a spherical bearing on the top, so that means they're gonna get uh, smooth turning. Um, shouldn't have any clunking. Lifespan should be really good on it. Uh, on the lower end camera plates or low end coil overs that do include the top hats or the shock mounts, they don't have a, either a, a good bearing system in the camera plate where they just don't have one at all and so when the coilover body is turning left or right um, and it really doesn't rotate too much but it does rotate when you are turning the wheel left and right uh, you get a twang from the spring and that's because the uh, spring on the coil is binding up as you rotate left and right um, and so then it'll catch and release when you're turning left or right and it's not really bad for the coilover but it, it sounds bad I, I guess um, a lot of people have issues with uh, you know they hear that when they're in a parking lot or whatever um, so the Velox camera plates do not have that issue and will not have that issue um, as you can see here it rotates really well um, you know, with the spherical bearing that it's got on the, the top of the camera plate okay so here's the installed shot uh, Obviously you can see you get camera adjustment uh, on the top here, so if you loosen up the four bolts, um, the whole coil over body can shift uh, inward or outward, and that would give you obviously a negative camera if you go in towards the car and positive camera if you go out. Uh, right now I have left it at the stock setting, which is zero. Um, ultimately I'm going to be trying to run probably close to three or negative three camber, so with these plates that should be doable based on what Velox has said. So fit and finish on the camber plates is really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it performs when uh, it's out on the track, um, when you need to make on the fly adjustments and that sort of thing. And one important thing I really did want to go over um, is installation. Now Velox doesn't specify a left or a right for the camber plates, um, but when you install it basically before you uh, 
bolted up and everything, if you place one of the camera plates into uh, a spot where the strut goes, um, you want to make sure that the camera adjustment, uh, one, make sure that the writing on the camera plates is facing forward, so if you're looking at it from under the hood, uh, the writing is, is displayed correctly. And secondly, you really want to make sure that the adjustments on this are uh, left and right and very even. Um, I did throw in the other camera plate just kind of see what it would look like if you had the wrong one in, um, and it would basically be uh, pointing the wrong way. And so if you were to adjust camber, it would also be adjusting caster as well. Um, so make sure that you test fit uh, your camera plates before you install them uh, to make sure that you're putting the left on the left side and the right on the right side. Um, otherwise, your uh, adjustments and everything aren't going to come out properly when you're trying to dial in your uh, alignment. So again, fit and finish and, and overall quality of the Velox camera plates is really, really good and uh, looking forward to using them. Um, I've got one installed on this side and I've got the stock uh, top mount or shock mount on the uh, passenger side. Obviously there's no camera adjustment or anything like that. Looks really lame and boring. Um, functional, but if you really want to be able to dial in your alignment uh, specs perfectly and you know have something that really looks good under the hood, the Velox camera plates are definitely something that you're going to want to take a look at.